Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Mitch. Good Monday evening. Hope you guys are staying safe out there, especially in Oklahoma and even areas of Arkansas as there's ongoing severe weather, tornado warning storms, severe thunderstorm warnings out there. As this situation is unfolding as I speak, so uh, obviously if you guys tune in, you know, two, three, four hours after I drop this video, some of the things that I'm talking about will be past tense. So, but I really want to mention what's going on right now. But more importantly, I'm going to focus in on tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday and what potentially could happen as far as severe weather as um, it is going to continue to be active through the rest of the work week. Severe weather will be the hot topic and will continue to do so. I really appreciate the uh, support I got today from the morning video. I picked up quite a bit of subscribers. I picked up a, a couple members too, so I really appreciate people who have joined my channel. I'm at 21 now, so I'll reach my end of May goal. So I really appreciate you guys supporting my channel in that way. So. If you guys have not subscribed, definitely consider doing that. Like the video if you like it. I understand there's a lot of people probably tuning in to the people going live in the weather YouTube world, and rightfully so. A lot of people do a very good job out there in keeping people alert, so definitely stay tuned if you live in those areas. And don't focus too much on my video right now, but I really appreciate people tuning in. Regardless, if you guys got anything I can pray about, please put it in the comments below. It gives me an opportunity to pray over it. And it gives others an opportunity to do so too. So right now, still a moderate risk. This will probably get updated as here in the next couple a couple hours. This will get cut off from west to east as a cold front is working in probably one to two, maybe three hours quicker than it was supposed to come in. So that's actually tampering down the severe weather threat somewhat in portions of Oklahoma. It's good news. It really is. But we have some severe weather ongoing just south of Fort Smith, uh, Arkansas. And what I'm going to show you, this is as of 646 Eastern Time, 546 out there in the areas that are getting impacted. This is radar scope. We have the cold front, which is actually draping across this area right here. So pretty much right after this area of storms right here, stable air moves in and uh, your severe weather threat is over. Now you watch this cell down here in Ch Chickasha. Chikasha, if I say that wrong for you folks in Oklahoma, I do apologize. There's actually been a reported tornado right here in this hook area of this storm that you can barely see. The velocity scan is not that strong, but there was actually a storm chaser that reported a tornado off this. This storm, and remember, if you guys are tuning in, this has already happened maybe one to two hours after I dropped this video, but this storm is running out of time to do anything. It's going to get sucked in with this storm, and they're going to combine into a linear type setup where they really combine into a line of storms here. So uh, it's running out of time to really work and take advantage of the dynamics in place here. But this is unfolding now. At the same time, this and uh, Fort Smith, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm doing this all on the swing here, guys. But this storm right here south of Fort Smith, this might have a tornado on the ground right now. It did earlier. But we'll look at the uh, velocity scan on this right now. Very strong tornado signature right here. This had a tornado on the ground. We look at the correlation co coefficiency here and you can actually see possibly where there's some damaging damage ongoing here just west of Mansfield, Arkansas. So definitely be careful with this cell. If you're out ahead of this storm right here, there's a little bit of a spin right here in the atmosphere that's actually enhancing the threat for um, a tornado with a supercell right here. So be careful. Anybody out in front of this system right here, the elevation picks up as you get a little bit further northeast and just north in general. But this is a big time supercell right here that you need to be careful of now, which is now about southeast of Fort Smith, Arkansas, that's fully moved into Arkansas in general. But this storm could be producing a tornado as I speak right now. So please be careful in that area. But as we're going through the afternoon hours, any activity that does form, which has kind of been surprising today in southern Arkansas, will merge together into a line of storms, continue overnight. I feel like the threat here in southern Missouri has lessened somewhat, but there is a reason why, if you look at this, there is a 45% chance of damaging winds in this region right here of Oklahoma and getting very close to Arkansas and 25 miles in any given point. That's because this is this this area of storms right here. Let me back it up here and uh, bring it back to the Oklahoma City um, radar. This line of storms, man, I got to get it off the cursor. Let me get this together here. Line of storms is really producing some potential damaging winds and will continue to do so as it marches east. And this will eventually kind of drift and sag southeast in the Arkansas overnight. 
So if you're in Arkansas, northern portions of Arkansas, especially northwest, watch out around midnight. These storms are going to pack a punch, damage the wind, the biggest threat, maybe some isolated areas of hail, and they will lose some steam overnight. For example, as they get into Arkansas, it's the wee hours of the morning, they will start to lose that punch a little bit. So, uh, and then obviously we start to get into Tuesday, which we'll talk about that. A severe um, ri a risk of severe storms is there for areas of Ohio, um, uh, southwest uh, Pittsburgh, PA, uh, areas of northern Kentucky, uh, like I said, Ohio, a very small section of West Virginia. So let's talk a little bit about that. 2% chance of a tornado and 25 miles in any given point right here, but really the biggest risk here is damaging winds. Hell threat's pretty small, but damaging winds, a 15% risk, 25 miles in any given location. This yellow area of damaging winds occurring with this severe weather risk right here. And we'll kind of watch this unfold in more of a broad look right here. And let me slow it down here. As we're moving forward, we're getting into the afternoon hours. Look at all these storms developing here. Even in Indiana, you guys are not in the slight risk so much, but you guys could have some big time storms tomorrow afternoon, two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon here in Northern Indiana. But you really watch down here in Southern, the central areas of Ohio, where these storms really start to pick up some steam kind of turn into a segment of like a bowing line of segment, a uh, potentially a damaging wind uh, squall line. I cannot talk right. It seems like I'm, I'm, I'm better talking in the mornings than I am in the evenings, which wouldn't seem to be the case when you're just waking up in the mornings. But a line of storms, kind of a broken up discrete line of storms potentially gets going in areas of Southeast Ohio, it starts to kind of move into West Virginia, where these could really pack a punch into the even, at late afternoon, evening hours, even into Pittsburgh. And in fact, we'll get a little bit closer for you folks, and we'll back it up here. These storms get going about mid-afternoon. Watch out Dayton. Uh, watch out southeastern Ohio. These are just, just kind of a broken up line of storms, kind of congealed area of storms that's really getting going here. And then they kind of move into Pittsburgh, so southwestern areas of PA. And, uh, you know, watch out, uh, you know, areas of northern West Virginia, even storms down here in Kentucky. These all will have a small hail risk, even a tornado risk, but primarily probably a damaging wind risk with this. As we're getting into the evening hours, you will continue to have storms uh, firing up here in southern and south central areas of Ohio. And just a lot of showers and storms. It won't just be one round. It'll probably be multiple rounds of showers and storms in West Virginia, areas of Pennsylvania and Ohio throughout the day, tomorrow and afternoon, evening hours. All these storms will have a chance to produce all hazards. Uh, but like I said, the primary risk will likely be a tornado threat. But moving forward here, uh, big time risk of storms. Wednesday, this is for Wednesday, your May 4th, enhanced risk already up. And there's also a 30% chance of significant severe weather occurring. Well, I'm sorry, a 10% risk overlapping this 30% risk of significant of uh, severe weather occurring in 25 miles in the given location. Sorry for the sloppiness, guys. I've got a lot going on this evening and rushing a little bit too much in, uh, through this video than I would like. So I do apologize for the sloppiness, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys and hurry up and get off this and try to focus in on what's actually happening in real life. Uh, hopefully sometime in the future, I can go live with you guys periodically. But like I said, the main goal is always to be out in the field. That's my main goal here in the future is to be um, a full-time weather guy in general and uh, talk weather, but also when the biggest outbreak of weather in general, whether it's hurricanes, severe weather, um, uh, blizzards, whatever it is, I want to be out in it. That's always going to be my main goal. So anyways, going off that, going, getting off that, uh, moving forward here, you have the severe weather threat Wednesday, and then it shifts for a little bit more of a higher population area. Watch out the Tennessee Valley, Memphis, Tennessee, Greenville, Mississippi, Little Rock, a 30% risk. This, risk. this is basically an enhanced risk at day four. So this is, this is for Thursday. This is going to be a big deal also. So we're going to continue to deal with this. Finally, we get to day five, which is Friday. It looks like it starts to lose intensity as far as the streak of severe weather. So that's good news. But as far as what we can see at this range, we can look at the long range NAM, which isn't really, a, uh, really, really isn't that reliable at this range. But we look at Wednesday morning, there's already a lot of convection, a lot of storms really popping off in Oklahoma. We'll keep this rolling to the afternoon hours. And then it shows just a lot of messy convection storms in Oklahoma. You're definitely not going to be dealing with much of a cap. You're going to be dealing with a lot of showers and storms in this area, but the atmosphere will be primed for severe weather. So we have to watch this going to unfold here. How does the triple eight 
our H triple R model evolve with this setup as it's not in range yet. But uh, I tell you what, the NAM looks very messy for Wednesday. But we'll see how this happens. We'll see if this uptrends. But the dynamics are going to be there for severe weather, including uh, the thermodynamics in the kinematics. But in general, you look at the thermos and, and range here, a big time area of moist air builds in for Wednesday. You're going to have dew points rising into the 60s, close to 70 into Oklahoma, northern Texas. Watch out, Dallas. You guys could get into this risk at this time. Um, you know, And then you start to move into Thursday. And then that moist sector really builds into Arkansas, western areas of Tennessee, and areas of Mississippi, where you will have uh, the dynamics that really get uh, the tone set for this region for severe weather. So we'll break down this a little bit more as we go. I'll try to figure out what's going to happen with this here in the coming 24 hours. But that's all I got, guys. Um, we don't know a whole lot about Wednesday and Thursday, but we will know a whole lot more tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. God bless all y'all. Stay safe out there. And uh, stay blessed.